Hello and welcome to my channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Windows 7 in your Android using Limbo PC Emulator. So let's get into the video. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Windows 7 tiny version in your Android using Limbo PC Emulator. So basically, this is the uh, tiny Windows 7 I am going to run in Android. So this is the fully working Windows 7 and this is the latest version of the windows 7 in my previous video i've already shown that how you can run windows 7 ultimate windows 7 and many other uh, windows version like windows 10 windows xp so first of all you have to download and install the application limbo pc emulator so this is the emulator for android and second thing you have to download the tiny uh, tiny windows 7 iso iso file so basically this is the uh, q core 2 file the downloading in the description and it will be uh, in the uh, 1.65 GB the downloading in the description first of all you have to open the limbo PC emulator application so this is the interface of the limbo PC emulator application you have to just click to none click to new you have to create the machine I am going to give this machine a windows 7 tiny version so I have created the machine name now you have to select the user interface into SDL you have to select the CPU model Codeo, I always select Codeo, you can select any other it's upon you, I'm going to select the core 4 and RAM RAM will depend on your smartphone specifications uh, I'm going to select RAM about 800 MB let's see if uh, 800 MB work or not I'm going to reduce the RAM so now you have to select the disk A, click to none, click to open now you have to select the Windows 7 ISO file that I've already told you to download so basically this is the Q, uh, Q code to format you have to select this file and scroll down internet is not working in this windows but to make soon i am going to uh, bring a video on how you can access internet and how you can access internal storage with using this shared folder as you can see there is option over here i am going to bring lot of videos on that topic so subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos now you have to scroll down and get into the boot device you have to select the hard disk and click to high priority so we have done all the settings in the limbo pc emulator now you have to click to play button after clicking play button as you can see the windows is started booting it means the ram is perfectly uh, merged with the windows and it will saying start windows uh, so you have to just click to enter so as you can see in the screen it will uh, the windows 7 is booting over here here it will going to take some time so i am going to fast forward this video and come back after it's fully loaded So as you can see in the screen finally the windows 7 has been successfully booted here it's been taken about uh, uh, 3 to 5 minutes approx in my android phone it can uh, take less time or more time in your android phone it will depend on your smartphone specifications so i have selected 800 mb ram according to my smartphone you can select more so at first if uh, as you can see in the screen the mouse cursor is not working if not uh, it doesn't work you have to just zoom in the screen and it started working as you can see so at first it will showing some startup screen it will saying the windows 7 tiny version so it will click to ok and after booting up it will automatically activate uh, showing, showing some cmd commands and it will saying uh, windows is activated and activity of the windows 
it so let me just close the cmd of this windows 7 so as you can see finally this is the uh, uh, windows 7 desktop and it, here it will showing uh, installation of drivers so let me just close this so let me just turn, turn on the screen rotation and turn the android phone for the better view and better understanding now as you can see in the screen this is the uh, fully working windows 7 desktop while using the uh, volume up and down button you can uh, use as a mouse you can get more option while pressing the volume down button at first it will taking some time to load so this is the windows 7 or tiny version tiny version windows 7 so as you can see just now i have uh, uh, pressed the volume down button and it will showing the more option of the desktop so let me just refresh the as you can see the screen of this windows 7 is very wide comparing to other so this is the uh, windows 7 tiny version and it's still loading it may take about uh, uh, more uh, two to three minutes to fully load the desktop and it, at down here it will showing some uh, hardware installing drivers so as you can see this is the fully working windows 7 tiny version in android with using limbo pc emulator so in my upcoming videos i am trying to show how you can uh, enable internet how you can access internal storage of your android phone in limbo pc emulator with any os there are a lot of upcoming videos on my channel so make sure to subscribe to my channel like this windows 7 taking some time uh, to to get faster so as you can see slowly slowly it's getting faster and i'm i can access all the things in this windows 7 so it taken about 10 minutes and it's getting faster slowly so just now i have opened the uh, my about my computer so this is the uh, windows 7 ultimate 2009 microsoft version and i have selected the intel code code uh, code cpu it's will showing and 800 mb ram it's just a little bit uh, operating system so slowly slowly it's will getting faster so you don't need to worry about that the windows is a good and can usable in an android it's slowly slowly getting faster so just now i've opened this and it's uh, uh, opening very quickly after so as you can see in the screen it bit laggy because i've selected it 800 mb ram and as you can see this is the file manager of this windows and it will showing uh, local disk c and cd rom in my upcoming video i try to show how you can uh, access internal storage in your uh, windows with the limbo pc emulator so as you can see in the screen finally this is the windows 7 tiny version running in android so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have any question or problem let me know in the comments thank you